Okay, today I'm going to be replacing the oil pump gasket on my 1928 Durant. Now I'm going to show y'all where the oil pump is located. So the oil pump is right there, and in order to take those bolts off, I have to undo the flywheel. So I'm going to have to take the flywheel off. So most older cars were built simple, and they were made to last. So that's the original engine from 1928. Also, they were made so they could be worked on, so this whole floor will come out of here, so will the seat. Okay, I've lifted the seat out of there, and I've put it in the back seat. Um, now I'm going to begin taking out the floorboards, and there's the new gaskets in there. Okay, I've taken out the front floorboards. There they are. Now I'm going to take out that um, part of the floorboard. Okay, actually, I've decided to leave that section of floorboard. I'm just going to take out those floorboards. Okay, now we can see the flywheel. There's the gas pedal. I noticed in my previous videos, y'all asked me why I don't use the push button starter. This is why the um, Bendix gear is missing from it. Well, it's not missing. I took it off to fix it. But when you push this button right here, watch. That's what would start it. You can also crank start it. Okay, now I'm going to take off the clutch plate by loosening these three bolts right here and then loosening that thing, and then I'll move the clutch plate, and then I can take off the flywheel and get to the oil pump. And actually, before I take off the flywheel, I'm going to make sure the markings on the flywheel are directly at top dead center, so that that way I don't get the markings off, so I can time the engine again if I need to. Okay, I have the little mark at top dead center. Okay, now I'm going to take off the flywheel. Okay, the flywheel is removed. I had to loosen the spicer joint thing right there and then pull off the clutch plate things and then pull loose the clutch plate, then loosen the bolts on the flywheel, which I still made sure the center thing right there, and this is top dead center. There's the oil pump right, right, right there. Now I can loosen these bolts and pull this all the way off and then replace the gaskets and put, then put everything back together. Okay, the oil pump is now off, and I found the problem. Some sealant stuff had gotten in there. Um, so now I'm going to replace the gaskets, and I'm obviously not going to put uh, black sealant back on there. But anyway, and it should work. Okay, I've cleaned the old oil pump and um, scraped the gasket off. Um, now I'm going to put it back together and put it back on the engine and put everything back together. Okay, the flywheel is bolted back on. Now I'm going to attach the uh, clutch plate and I'll attach that to the transmission and I'll attach the clutch fingers and then we should be good to go as soon as I prime the oil pump. Okay, everything is back together. Now I will start the car. I've got, still got to put the seat back. Okay, I've started my car. It's running. And now we have oil pressure. And I'll step on the pedal and you'll see the gauge better. 